this is this is hot. Okay. It was good, as as good as it can be, you know. Um, a little bit of coffee here and there, and we're keeping it moving. Oh yeah, a little bit. I might as well stand up in the back so I don't fall asleep in the chair there. It was good. It was good. The weather's pretty nice. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, it was, it was all good. Going to a stadium you've never pitched before, does that change your uh, pregame routine at all in terms of preparation and figuring things out? Yeah, for sure. I might go out there a little bit earlier to feel out the wind or the field condition or anything like that. It's a sight line and all that. Um, it'll be my usual, you know, pregame routine, but just a little bit more time to kind of figure out what the wind is doing, if there's any wind and all that stuff. Yeah, um, it would be awesome to meet him one day. You know, he's obviously a huge star and he's been doing fantastic. I'm really happy for him and it would be it would be really great to meet him one day. And a lot of Korean fans, uh, maybe um, the, they, they are not um, so interested in the NFL, but the active youth, a lot of Koreans interested in the NFL. And uh, do you think you will be good ambassador to the NFL? Um, I think they'll be big, you know. Um, we're having games in London, and same idea. We had some in Mexico, and um, I hope you know we can get into Asia and just expand a game like that and have fans all over the world. I think that would be really cool. Can you say something to the Korean fans? 여러분들이 NFL에 잘 모르지만 자꾸 응원해 주시면 감사하겠습니다. kick was a pretty fresher thing. I mean, you've just seen there's obviously a lot of support from Korea as well around you. Do you feel added pressure with that, as well as being a kicker and being kind of an ambassador? Not at all. I think it's fine. Um, you know, <laughs> I, I think it's awesome. Um, I try to soak it all in, and, you know, it's um, talking about pressure. It's good pressure, right? It's, you're, you're having fun, and to have, you know, the recognition or the fans and the support um, without without any fans, without the fans that we have in this league or any sports, um, it wouldn't be what it is. So I'm grateful for the, you know, good and bad, you know, the passion that the fans have for sure. It's, um, it's a quite a wild position in that it can change very drastically from being beloved to being bemoaned in the space of a few seconds. There's a lot of talk about mental health. How do you prepare mentally throughout the week? general for playing in those big moments? Right. Um, so kickers and punters is kind of different from like other positions, right? Because um, let's say you miss a tackle as a defensive player. The next play you can get up and you can, you know, run a little bit harder and make up with effort and stuff like that. But as a kicker, you miss a kick. It's like, well, you might sit on the bench for an hour and we don't, we might, you know, that might be it. So um, I, you know, take pride in my craft. So during practice, you know, visualization, like you talked about mental side of it. Um, putting yourself in the situation, visualizing the kick, and focusing on my craft and on my process so that when I get out there on Sunday or on game day, um, I just you know trust the work that I put in and just do the work that I, I did instead of worrying about all the external factors. You grew up a kicker, I mean, a soccer ref? Uh, yeah, I grew up playing soccer. For, and uh, when I moved to the States, I didn't know what football was, but I uh, got into that pretty quick. Is playing in Tottenham kind of living our Premier League dream a little bit? I guess so, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there. I, I guess I'll look at it that way. That's that's good. That's good. Who did you support growing up? I'm sorry. Who did you support in soccer growing up? Uh, well, growing up, Park was in um, in Manchester United, so I grew up, you know, obviously watching like Koreans. You know, we kind of follow our players and stuff like that. So definitely watch watch Park growing up. Young Wei, um, the team isn't where it wants to be right now. So what what's the move right now? Yeah. Um, and also the script, does that help play into some of like getting that mental factor you were talking about, like staying positive and, and focusing on what the goal is? And like that? Yeah, I mean, as a team, regardless of where we play, it's a great opportunity to play here, but it's a long season, right? So it's one and three, but it's week five. Um, so we try to improve every day and every week. Every week is, you know, it's, you know, one one at a time. That's kind of the motto. So let's go one and oh this week and then move on to the next. So you just worry about it and just this week and put all the work this week 
and try to go 1-0, one and, one and, and we're not going to worry about the past, worry about the future. We'll worry about that when we get there. But for right now, let's enjoy this environment, enjoy this trip, but get the win, you know, because that's what we're here for. Um, I think that's a soccer player in me. I think a lot of kickers do this, but if you see a hole that's um, maybe a little bit different from what you usually would get or what would you would rather have, um, your, your body kind of adjusts to it immediately. Um, at that point, I just trust my body and kind of be an athlete and just adjust, adjust to the ball and just put it through the pipes, you know, whatever it takes. Um, no, uh, I think, you know, all the stuff that I've been doing, I'm just going to continue to do. And, um, like I just said, you know, I'm just going to trust the process that I've did. I mean, it is a different environment, but at the same time, all the, you know, NFL stadiums have different circumstances and whatnot, but I'll trust my process and just stick to that. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Uh, we might Google some stuff later, Yelp it up. I don't know, but, uh, <laughs> we might need some suggestions after. Yeah, um, I had a rough start as an NFL kicker, and that taught me, you know, how to be a pro. Um, just I have to put the work into my craft um, because I only get so many opportunities so that I have to work on my craft and my kicking style, and I try to understand what I do best and what I don't do well. So if things don't go well at the same at the same time, I can adjust to it and come out the slump as soon as possible. So, um I think, you know, as my body changes, as I grow up and whatnot, it's just going to be a constant evolution of my kicking style and whatnot, but I'll um, continue to, you know, look to get better. I think, he, he, you know, he could be great, you know. Um, I think I grew up playing soccer and, you know, a professional soccer player, I, I would imagine he would be, He'd be pretty good, so you know, um, if I get if I can get a chance to you know meet Son Sonny and you know Harry, I would love to see how how they can uh, kick a football instead of soccer ball or football. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you.